hello and welcome to the channel today in this video i will show you how to design a piece like this on on free card step by step if you like the content i have been producing please subscribe to the channel and if you want to donate to the channel you can do so accessing qualify site link to this page can be found on the description of this video thank you so now what to do is to create a new document click on this icon here and now select per design workbench okay and here we have this document and now let me close this document here and now we go to this string page here and here we can see these top view these section views and these dimensions these dimensions here will use to create this model okay what we'll do first is to create a sketch for this section view here so here we come back to this document and we create body and then we sketch in axi plane okay and here we'll select this polyline tool and now we draw this horizontal line in this way this line here and this horizontal line now this line and this line here and now we'll click in this point okay and what we'll do next is these fillets here with a range of 10 so here we select this fillet tool and we fillet this sketch and next here we'll select all of these fillets and we'll set equal Okay, and also leave this constraint here and set the range here to 10 millimeters. And next here we'll constrain the angles of this sketch here. So here we have 8 degrees, 125 degrees and 105 degrees. So here we select this constraint here and now these two lines and we set 100 five now we select these two lines here and we set 125 and now these two lines and we set eight degrees okay and now here we select this smart constraint and select these two points of this horizontal line and now this vertical line and next here we'll set the length of these lines here okay so here we select this tool and the length of this line here will set 300 and this line here will set 120 and for this line here we'll set 85 okay and here we have this dimension 100 Okay, and next here we'll set the height of this sketch. So here we select this vertical distance tool. Sorry. Here in the section view we see the height of this sketch. We have eight millimeters. So we select this vertical distance tool and now this point here and this point. And we set eight millimeters and now we'll leave this sketch here. Press home and select pad tool. Check this option, smart to plane, and the length here will be here we have 115 plus this dimension here 2.5. So the length here will be 120. Okay, and next here we'll create these pockets here. So what to do is to create a new sketch and we create this sketch in YZ plane. And here first we select this tool and we extract this edge here and now switch to section view and here we select polyline tool draw this vertical line and now this horizontal line and click in this point and here we can see here we see this angle here so what to do is to select this constraint here and now these two lines and here we'll set this formula 
okay so here we have 80 degrees so we'll leave this sketch here and next we go to this pocket tool and we change the tab here to toggle and we set symmetric to plane and okay so now we have this pocket in this part and next here we go to model and select this pocket here and now mirrored feature and now we have this okay and next here we'll create this pocket okay so what to do here is to select this face and go to thickness tool here we check this option make thickness inwards and we'll change this value here to 2.5 millimeters we can see here 2.5 and enter and next here we'll do this fillet so the value of this fillet is 7 we can see here so what to do here in this part is to select this edge here and go to fillet tool and here we change the range to 7 and now click on this add button and we add this edge here so select this edge and ok and now here we select this edge and we go to fillet tool again and we change the range here to 10 millimeters ok and next click on this add button and at this edge and OK. So now we have this part in this way. And next, what we have to do is to create this part here. OK, so here we go to this document and we create, we create a new sketch in XY plane. And what we'll do here is to go to Sketch Geometers and select Rounded Rectangle Tool. Draw this rectangle and next select this match constraint and constrain this rectangle to this origin point. Okay. And, and here we draw a second rectangle. Select this tool again and draw this rectangle. Okay, and now we constrain the, this rectangle here so what to do here is to select this point and this point here and now this origin point okay and now we use this tool here to extract this edge and this edge okay and next here we select this point here and this point and we set constant okay and now here what we'll do is to select this point and this point here and we set horizontal constraint and now select this point here and this point and vertical constraint okay and now we drag this this arc here and here we'll set the uh, distance of we can set one millimeters okay and okay we extract this edge here and next we select this vertical distance tool we select this point here and now this point and the distance here will set 15 this dimension we can see here Here we have 15. So okay, now we leave this sketch here and we go to the pad tool. We set reversible and the length here will be 2.5 millimeters, this dimension here. So here we change to 2.5 and enter. And now we have this. Okay, and next what we, ha we have to do is to create these walls here. So we come back to this model and we select this face here and we create a new sketch in this face. 
okay and what we'll do here is to draw a cycle okay okay first here we select this line tool and we draw a line here okay and now we set this line here to construction geometry okay and now select this smart constraint and we set these two points merge to this vertical line here and now what you have to do is to draw a cycle so we click on this point here and here we'll draw five cycles Okay, and next we select these cycles and we'll set equal. And now we constrain this cycle here, horizontal constraint. And the diameter of these cycles here we set eight millimeters. So we select these and now this constraint here and we set eight. Okay, and And next here we see this distance 8 millimeters and 20 here so what to do here is to select this external geometry tool and we extract this edge here and this edge and next we set the distance here we set 8 millimeters okay and next we select this point here and this point and we set 20 Okay, so now we have this and what we'll do next is to select this smart constraint and we set these three points here smart sorry control Z okay here we select this point and this point here and now this point okay and next this point here and this point now the center point here and this sketch is full constrained, so we'll leave this sketch and go to this pocket tool. We click OK, and next here we mirror this pocket, so select this tool here. Here we change the plane to axis plane, and now we have these walls here. And next we create a new sketch in this face, so click on this icon here. And here we'll draw two cycles we make the cycles equal okay and now we extract this edge here and this edge and now we set the cycle equal to this edge here and now select this smart constraint, select this point here and this center point. Now this vertical line and we have this. Okay, and now we can see these dimensions here. This vertical distance here. So here we select this vertical distance tool and we set 28. Okay, and now we select this horizontal distance tool. We set the distance here to 8 millimeters. Okay, so this sketch is constrained, so we leave this sketch here and we go to pocket tool and here set. Okay, and now we mirror this pocket. We go to this mirrored feature and here we change the plane to axis plane again. And okay. Now press home and you can see this model in this way. So okay, as you can see, we finished the design of this model. If you like this video, please leave a like. Okay, so thank you for watching this video. Thank you.